good afternoon i am ashwini mate i working for cisco systems in bangalore uh, i have experience in building uh, different use cases in open delight like i have uh, implemented service plugin uh, using open delight rest apis in neutron side uh, i have also created some apps uh, which can uh, uh, which can uh, capture the packets and display some statistics about that packets so it's basically some uh, video traffic as well as the normal traffic uh, so being open delight user from hydrogen to boron release i found that there is a huge evaluation for for each project because in open delight we have a different projects so for each project they have evolved uh, they have add more features but if we uh, consider dulux uh, we don't have that much features are there in dulux and the same concern is raised by uh, the core dulux developer in last summit so basically for any product which have a ui so basically ui is a key point through which the user can get that product very well so uh, uh, so main area of this my presentation is uh, in next 20 minutes i am in next 20 minutes i will talk about the uh one use case which will add some dynamic uh, features inside dulux and then i will cover uh, some future scope of that product uh, that use case so if you have any question please hold on uh, we will take it after this session uh so basically uh, these are the certain features which are uh, already there in dulux so uh, if we connect uh, any network uh, with our sdn with our odl so for example if you if you create mini net uh, topology and then you can cre uh, create uh, connect it with the open delight you can see uh, that network topology inside dulux again you can uh, you can see the statistics of different network element inside dulux again you have a capability in dulux through which you can see the topology in the yang ui so uh, what basically this alert mechanism is in this alert mechanism uh, user can see the status of uh, particular network traffic and again uh, user can capture the alerts uh, based on different traffic measures for example if there is a congestion in traffic or if there is a jitter in traffic user can see that through dulux itself so uh, for example green color indicate if there is a normal traffic flow uh, red color indicate if there is a congested traffic or jitter in traffic so let's see workflow of this use case so first thing uh, first step of this use case is we have to write one application inside controller so this application act as a alert provider for our use case so second uh, block block is uh, we have to implement app in a such way, way that it it will send alerts to the dulux so based on that alerts uh, in dulux code we can uh, we can uh, we can monitor that alerts and we can uh, display that alerts through our dulux so the first two phases are basically uh, deal with the uh, backend code and the last two phases are basically deal uh, deals with the our uh, this uh, ui side code uh, so now we'll see this uh, implementation in detail yeah so basically in first step uh, we have to write uh, application inside uh, dulux uh, inside open delight controller so what we can do is we can use the mdsl architecture uh, we can write the yang model uh and in that we can use the existing uh, api so for example uh, here in my use case i am using network topology api for uh, adding the alert info so in second step uh, the api gets ready so i have the api which has a alert information i will monitor that api uh, so basically in uh, for getting this alert information we can use the packet in event so based on this event we can capture so for example i have tested for the rtp packets so for any rtp packet we have a rtcp packet which gets the control information 
so if we decode that rtcp packet we have a uh, there some information like we have a inter arrival jitter so we can consume that jitter information as our major and then we we can add it into the our topology api and we can then monitor that a api inside dulux code and then uh, for each condition uh, we can keep the color code So, for example, if I am considering congestion and a jitter as a traffic uh, parameter, so if I get jitter as a zero and uh, congestion as a zero, zero, that means it it's an idle condition. So, for idle condition, the traffic uh, traffic color will be normal, uh, sorry, green. And for if if we have a zero, one, one, zero, or one, one, this condi for this condition, uh, the traffic color flow will be red. Yeah, so now we will see this implementation in detail. So uh, as I uh, considering everyone is now aware of how to write application inside MDSL. So uh, for this alert provide, uh, provider, we can create our own application uh, or we can add the feature inside L2 switch. So now I'm uh, considering here adding the feature inside L2 switch. So you can see here, we have already uh, existing some features in the L2 switch. Uh, you can see here there is I'm adding alert provider as a new feature. Uh, we can see the directory structure of a alert provider. So uh, as you already know that we have a model implementation and config subsystem. Yeah, so this is basically form.yaml file in which uh, this is for a feature. So you can see the modules which are defined there. So we have a model implementation and config and it will be a part of a L2 switch. So it will point to the parent form of a L2 switch. Yeah. So this is basically our API design. So uh, as I said, uh, we are using the Young modeling language. So you can see here, I'm using some different structures here. For example, I'm using grouping. Uh, so you already aware that grouping by using grouping it's kind of a structure in C so we can create our own data structure here so this alert is our uh, new data structure and in alert we have the list of uh, alerts which is nothing but the congestion in traffic and jitter in traffic so these two things are already I have defined here and uh, uh, I'm using here argument so what basically argument do is uh, we are using the network topology API, which is an existing API. So we're gonna uh, extend that API and we just add this alert information into that API. So we c consider the link. So for each link, we are adding the alert information and then we are going to monitor this link um, information inside our Dulux code. Yeah, so this is a REST API, which uh, is already there, topology REST API. So we get the all information, uh, operational information of a topology in this API. So you can see here uh, this uh, for each link. So link is a node and for each link we are attaching alert information. So you can see here, uh, this is the idle condition which I am talking about. So zero, zero, that means we don't have any congestion or a jitter. So for this information, the color code will be uh, green. So it's the ideal condition for our use case. Yeah. So this is a, a non-ideal condition. So this is the first non-ideal condition where we have a congestion in traffic. This is the second one uh, which indicates we, uh, we have a jitter in traffic. And this is again we have a both in traffic. So this all conditions we are uh, uh, indicated by the red color. Okay, so basically now I will show you how this uh, actual implementation will look into the Dulux. So you can see here we have a two tab that is a normal traffic and the congested traffic. So user is easily get to know that there is a normal traffic flow uh, for uh, this uh, my uh, network traffic. And again, for this link, uh, there is something wrong is happened. Uh, so there is a c some congested traffic is there. 
so basically this is all about the use case uh, for alert mechanism uh, we can again uh, add some extra features so future scope for this alert mechanism is so now i am considering the hard coded value for alerts so from uh, uh, ui itself user can give the threshold value so suppose i want that uh, after the 10 uh, after that uh, 10 seconds my jitter value if it, it's more than 10 seconds uh, it sh it should show me the alert so I, we can add this threshold value through ui uh, second thing is uh, we can uh, we can show some pie charts uh, which will show the network utilization so we can then consider uh, certain parameters and based on that uh, some measures like congestion and bandwidth we can uh, we can see that we can monitor that and then we can show uh, some pie charts uh, of our network utilization in dulux uh, yeah so again uh, through dulux itself you uh, any network user can can is open delight user can easily add uh, this uh, traffic flows uh, so network admin can uh, force this tra uh, traffic uh, so network admin uh, can force the traffic to follow that particular uh, path so last thing is uh, we can again add the policy because because we have a different features in open delight we have a group policy based feature so we can add these policies through our ui itself so these are the different use cases where we can we can work on it and we can we can start giving these features into the dulux so that will help uh, for community also and uh, we will uh, we will uh, make the dulux very dynamic and effective So these are the some references uh, for this presentation. Uh, okay, I will show you one video uh, which will uh, which will give the summary of what I have talked so far. design must have a perfect balance of amazing looks and interactivity with ease of use and simple navigation. Play as abstraction for any product which hides complex backend from end user. Great UI design must have a perfect balance of amazing looks and interactivity with ease of use and simple navigation. Bad design of UI end up with confusion and frustration in the user. Lux is the UI for open AI. User can view network topology through Lux. Let's make OpenAI user happy. Let's introduce alert mechanism in OpenAI. This feature enabled Lux user to view normal traffic flow through green color as well as congested or delayed traffic through red color. This feature makes Lux more dynamic. Thank you for your time. UI is abstract. for your valuable time so this is uh, basically dulux itself has what basically dulux itself has node.js code so uh, so we can use that code itself so the code is already there. If you uh, gone through the Dulux code, uh, currently they are using a topology or REST API. Uh, so we can just add this feature inside the uh, topology REST API. So we can monitor that REST API and we can uh, check the conditions which I have talked. So 0001 and then we can display it to the Dulux.
so i don't have that idea if but m majorly these these use cases are related to dulux itself thank you for your time also created some apps uh, which can uh, uh, which can uh, capture the packets and display some statistics about that packets so it's basically some uh, video traffic as well as a normal traffic uh, so being open delight user from hydrogen to boron release uh, good afternoon i am ashwini mathe i working for cisco systems in bangalore uh, i have experience in building uh, different use cases in open delight like i have uh, implemented service plugin uh, using open delight rest apis in neutron size uh, i have concern is raised by uh, the core dulux developer in last summit so basically for any product which have a ui so basically ui is a key point through which the user can get that product very well so uh, uh, so main area of this i found that there is a huge evaluation for for each project because in open delight we have a different projects so for each project they have evolved uh, they have add more features but if we uh, consider dulux uh, we don't have that much features are uh, there in dulux and the same my presentation is uh, in next 20 minutes i'm in next 20 minutes i will talk about the uh, one use case which will add some dynamic uh, features inside dulux and then i will cover uh, some future